My name is Lee Frank. I am here to tell you about a product of Armor Coat, the spray on clear bra that we're installing. I have sprayed over a thousand of these kits. I'm a master trainer and I want to go through the process today to show you how easy this product is to apply. To spray Armor Coat on a vehicle, we have prepped it as we would prep it for paint. The car is already masked. We have a tape line that is set up to back tape the fill on the edge of the vehicle so we can pull this while the product is still wet. This gives a uniform line, lays over top itself so we don't have a rough edge. There are three key points that we need to address with Armor Coat. Number one, prep it like you are prepping to spray clear coat. Number two, apply the Armor Coat like you are applying clear coat. And number three, make sure to remove the line as soon as possible to make sure you have a uniform flowed line. This is the last step we do right before we start applying the armor coat is we wax and grease the areas anywhere you're going to apply the armor coat to make sure that the armor coat sticks. This vehicle is now ready to tack coat and start applying armor coat. At this stage, he's applying one light tack coat. This is to assure that the armor coat has something to stick to before it starts to slide. The first coat does not have to be applied extremely smooth. Armor coat lays itself out extremely well. Just get enough product on that you have something for the product to bite to. Depending on temperature, the product usually takes three to five minutes for the first coat to tack, and it speeds up after that. By the time you're spraying towards the end of your product, you're gonna be roughly in the two to three minute range. Once the product is sticky to the touch, it's ready for the second coat. The procedure for applying Armor Coat is exactly the same as you would apply clear coat. Average application takes six to eight coats, and what we do is we like to apply a complete kit to the entire front of a vehicle, then we know the mill thickness is proper for application. We apply a coat of Armor Coat to the tape line with every coat to keep that saturated. You wanna make sure the tape line stays wet in order to get a uniform line once we pull the tape. Once it is dry too far, the tape line will not pull clean. This process, he's removing the tape line. He put the last coat of armor coat on. This must be done while the product is completely wet. This is why we tape the lines back as you're able to get this off within just a few seconds of finishing the product. Now that the armor coat's been applied, this vehicle is air dried in the booth for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. As you can see, the product is no longer sticky. We normally like to wait another 15 minutes before we unwrap the vehicle in case there is an issue of tape falling on it. The, the line on this vehicle turned out perfectly. This is the, one of the main crucial areas that we express to have a nice clean job is to make sure you get this line off while the product is still wet. As you can see, this line is virtually invisible to your eye and it is very uniform and it laid over top of itself. This way it will not hold waxes, dirt, or any chance of it peeling up along this edge. This is probably the most crucial item to apply in this. Other than that, this product is as simple as spraying clear coat. If you have any questions on how to apply this product or to repair this product, we have a toll-free number that you can contact Armor Coat. There will be a tech person that will help you get through any concerns at all.